A society to have order and to protect its citizens must have rules. Rules or laws are created and agencies are formed to enforce the rules. In the United States, you are innocent until proven guilty. Our judicial system, our courts, have the task of determining guilt. When guilt is found, the courts meet out the consequences. If we follow the rules of our society, we may never have to face the bar of justice inside a criminal courtroom. Join us now as we see an actual Lake County court in session. Okay, could everyone, including visitors, please raise your right hand. Okay, do each of you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and this you do under the pains and penalty of perjury? Yes, Yes, ma'am. All right, you can put your hands down. Each of you has a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. When you get to the microphone, I need to know if you're under 18. I need to know if you're not a citizen of the United States. If you're not a citizen of the United States, pleading today could affect your immigration status. If you, uh, I need to know if you're on probation or parole, because if you are pleading today, could affect your probation or parole status. If you plead today, you're giving up your right to have a trial and to have an attorney represent you at that trial. If I sentence you today on a criminal case, you need to go down to room 105 and sign up for the payment plan. The least the payment plan can be is $273. If you're charged with a battery, it's closer to $700. That is in addition to whatever we do here in the courtroom. Um, today we're being tape recorded and videotaped. Uh, today is my second arraignment using the computer, so I may not be too quick today. In custodies, next we have Robert Thompson. Good morning, Mr. Thompson. You are charged with a controlled substance and paraphernalia. You're in custody on some felonies also. Yes, ma'am. Them are being dropped, though. And you have a violation of probation. Yes, ma'am. So if you pled to this today, it would further add to your violation of probation. Yes, my, um... So I think you need to say not guilty and talk to an attorney. Well, can I enter a plea from both of them charges, the misdemeanor charges? Because I already talked to my probation officer. She's going to reinstate me, though, on the 19th when I come back. I think it's in your best interest to be sure of that before you plead today. You are interested in pleading today on these two? What, I'll yes. be. It would be 12 months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you complete a drug evaluation, any treatment recommended, and two clean screens at least 30 days apart. Yes, ma'am. That's what you want to do? Yeah. All right. This is Mr. Robert Anthony Thompson. He's entering a no contest plea to the marijuana and the paraphernalia. He understands this can be used against him in his violation of probation. He waives his right to an attorney. And I sentence him as I've already said. There'll be no fine except when you get out, you have to go to room 105 and pay the mandatory costs. Probation will cost about $55 a month, and you need to report to probation as soon as you get out of jail. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'll be on misdemeanor and felony probation? Looks like. Sorry? I have business out there, so I'm going to need to be out there to run it. Okay. If you can ask probation, misdemeanor probation, if they'll waive your fine, I mean, your um, supervision fees since you're paying it for the felony. Yes. They could say no. Okay. All right. Thank you. If you don't complete the counseling, your license will be suspended for two years. Okay. Thank you, Honor. Who are you? Matthew. Matthew who? Matthew Lewis Grant. Okay, um, you're charged with driving while license suspended, and you have your valid driver's license now. Yes. That's very good. Your license was suspended out of Polk County for not paying a ticket. You have no priors. If you enter a no contest plea, we change this from a criminal case to a civil, you'd have six months to pay $210. Yes? Yes, yes ma'am. 
All right, Miss Angie, this is Mr. Matthew Joel Lewis Grant. We're changing it to a civil with a withhold. All right, sir, have a seat. We'll get it to you as fast as we can. Next. Priscilla Mendez. Ms. Mendez, thank you for coming right up. Okay, Priscilla Mendez, you're charged with driving under the influence. It appears to be a first offense. Most people with this charge would like to talk to an attorney before they decide what to do. Do you want me to make you an Oh, this is a violation of probation. Is it? Um, I didn't finish everything on time. Right. I'm work I have to okay, be hang on, Miss Christine just left. Let me see if... Did I issue a notice to appear, or did you get arrested on this? What happened? Or an uh, ROR? I had a DUI a year ago. No, no. This time on the violation. How did you know to come to court? Today? Oh, I got a, my probation officer told me, and I got a letter in the mail. Notice to appear. Okay. Um, because you were doing so well, we... We ordinarily arrest people when they don't finish on time. But since you were doing so well, we didn't want to arrest you, so we just gave you the court date. Have you finished everything now? Or do you I have still... three more classes to go for adults. So how long do you need to finish? August 13th is my last day. So if we give you a new court date at the end of August, that should be okay. Yes. <clears throat> All right, we're continuing it till the end of August. <clears throat> All right, so we'll get your paperwork in a moment. And your name? Jasmine, Again? Jasmine Markerson. You are charged with leaving the scene without giving information and reckless driving. Before we do anything else, each of those has points. Uh, the leaving the scene has six and the reckless, I think, has four. So that's a lot of points that would be added to your record. Um, let me see what the charge involves. Apparently you were involved in an accident. Um, the report is <clears throat> that you're driving erratically and crashed. Mm. <laughs> okay, vehicle one crashed into vehicle two at, the, at a red light and then left the scene without notifying police or providing information. All right, so that's, then there's a picture attached, supposedly. Okay, there's a diagram. All right, so you are charged with rear-ending someone and then leaving the scene. May I speak? Uh-huh. Um, it was a... I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but it was a Chinese man. So I thought he said everything was okay. My car had more damage. So His car had some damage? My car had more damage. I hear that. Oh, yes. His car had some damage. I'm assuming yes. So I don't. You, I couldn't tell. You know, sometimes you can't tell if it was there or not beforehand, you know. I couldn't tell. But anyway, I'm not an expert. But I thought he said it was okay. So that's why I left. So you pulled over, got out of your yeah, car. Yeah, we both did. Pulled over, got out of your mm -hmm. car, had a conversation with mm -hmm. him, and you thought he said... That I could leave. Okay. Yeah. So you exchanged your driver's license with him, or you never even got that? No, car? nothing. Because everything... Why would I leave? I have valid license and insurance. So... Okay, so you're going to enter a not guilty plea until we can talk to this other person and see what he said well I really don't want to come back to court well you have to come back to court no matter you, if I sentence you today you won't have to come back again but it's 10 points on your driving record and um, these are very serious charges I your know. insurance will go up oh the 10 points is it any any way I can go to school for either or um, these are criminal charges and I would be finding you guilty um, so if you want us to talk to this person and this person um, says, well, I did tell her she could leave, but then I changed my mind, then that's a different, that could be a different story. No, don't worry about it. I just don't want to come back. What is your, what are you offering me? This is, you were charged with reckless driving. Reckless is wanton and willful, 
disregard for other people's safety. Understood. I actually don't see that yet. Right. I see that it was careless driving that you went into the vehicle in front of you. Yes, ma'am. So you may want, I know you want to come back, but reckless is, as I said, you know, it's reckless four or six. Four, four points. Um, if it were changed to careless, it would still be four points. So that's, but reckless is a serious driving offense, and this, your insurance is probably going to just go sky high. Um, so if you plead today, it will be $250 per count. It'll be six months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you pay the $500, and you would have all the points. So it's $500. Get off of probation as soon as you pay it. What kind of probation? County probation costs $55 a month. And you can get off of that probation as soon as you pay all the money. Okay. Yes? Yes. I don't understand, but you're... Yes, ma'am. I mean, I understood what you said. I don't understand why you're saying it instead of talking to an attorney or whatever. Because I work so much and I had to take off for this and I don't know what will be the point if if you vice versa, he still the the gentleman might say I didn't say it or he might say, Okay, I said it but I left. I have no idea. So I don't even want to take chances with him. Cause I if I can okay. All right, um, this is uh, Miss Merkerson. I've explained to her that this might not be a reckless, might be just a careless. I've explained to her there might be some uh, mitigating circumstances, but yes. Okay, the reckless versus the careless is still the same amount of points, right? It's still the same amount of points. Okay. Okay, so she's entering a note, but one's criminal, one's civil. So she's entering it. Oh. But you already have a criminal charge with leaving the scene. With leaving the scene, so not guilty. Okay, so um, Miss Merkerson's going to come back. She's going to enter a not guilty plea. Are you able to afford a private attorney? No, ma'am. How much do you make a week? Um, it varies. I have different cases. I can make. Six, seven, maybe I can go to zero. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. It varies. Like this week, I only have one case. It varies. So what's? Uh, um, I get paid biweekly, so about three hundred dollars every two weeks for my last. Right. She qualifies for the public defender's office if that's what she makes. So we'll appoint the public defender. There'll be a two hundred and fifty dollar minimum charge for their service, and you need to go make an appointment. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Eric Odell, to the microphone. Okay, Mr. Odell, you're charged with possession of paraphernalia. Have you ever been in trouble with the law before? Yes. All right. You drove past the stop bar, and so the off that was the reason the officer stopped you. And then the dog alerted. Okay. If you enter a no contest plea, I would put you on 12 months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you have a drug evaluation and... Um, Two random screens within three months. Uh, drug evaluation, any treatment recommended, and two random screens within the first three months. Okay. Are you on probation right now? Uh, PTI. Felony or misdemeanor? Yes. Felony. This will violate your felony PTI, so you need to say not guilty and talk to an attorney. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Angie. So I'm not sentencing you today. It's a not guilty, and we're appointing the public defender. Um, Shane and Peach. Ms. Peach, we meet again.
Miss Peach, what did I see you for last time? On my no driver's license, and it was suspended over a seatbelt ticket. And you dropped the seatbelt ticket and told me to come back in two weeks with my license. But I was unable to. I was going to see if... I only gave you two weeks. Yes, ma'am. Why did I only give you two weeks? Um... You must have told me you could do it in two no, weeks. No, ma'am, I asked you for 30 or 45 days. Defendant to get a valid driver's license, court will reduce to a civil. You were only suspended for not, because we were going to take care of the seatbelt ticket. That's yes, why. You did. I got the. So then you're not suspended anymore. Let me, um, this was, I don't know if I was going to withhold or. I change it to a, a withhold, no money due, right? And unsuspended you on that one. Yes, ma'am. So then you shouldn't be suspended. This should go away. That's why I said two weeks. Uh, Hang on a second. Let's. You had a seatbelt ticket, and we were going to unsuspend you for the seatbelt ticket. And if I unsuspended you on the seatbelt ticket, then today's charge goes away. Okay. And so. Um, we told you to go to the. I got the D6 clearance. Okay. So, I go to the so did you take that to the driver's license department and get your new license? No, ma'am, I didn't. Um, that, it's eighty-five dollars. It shouldn't be, um, it because it was a payment plan. They want you to pay the reinstatement. So how long do you need to pay the um, reinstatement? Just till the third of next month. Well, I'll give you till longer than that. Okay. Um, so she is suspended. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't make the seatbelt go away. We just said she didn't owe any money on it. Right. Okay. Who do okay, I let, me, let me go back. I've changed it so many times. You need to take that to the driver's license department, and you've told me it's 80-something to get your new card. It's 60 and then 25. All right. Today's driving while license suspended will not go away because the other one didn't go away altogether. So I'm changing it from a criminal to a civil, and you will now owe $50 on today's charge, okay. and you'll have six months to pay it. Okay. This is Miss Peach. It's going to be $50 only, and you'll have six months um, to pay it. All right, so that's this one. And now you're going to go get your valid driver's license with that D6 clearance, and you know it costs you $80. Yes, ma'am. All right, to the microphone. All right, Brianna Pellegrino. Uh, you're charged with criminal mischief, um, less than $1,000 worth of damage. All right, your ex-boyfriend says you keyed his car. That's what he said, but I did not. Okay, so you're entering a not guilty yes, plea. Are you able to afford a private attorney, or do you need the public defender? I need the public defender. How much do you make a week? 300 Where do you work? I work at Lake Medical Imaging. And you make 300 a week? I make 600 every two weeks. Okay. We'll appoint the public defender. All right. And one of these gentlemen will explain to you how you make an appointment. I have a question. He says that he's been trying to call here to drop the charges. Um, he's welcome to call the state attorney's office if that's what he wishes to do. Okay. He can call the state attorney's office. Okay. All right. Have a seat. Okay. Um, tell me your name, please. You're charged with uh, driving with an unlawful blood alcohol level. I'm also on hydrocodone, morphine, and Xanax. All right. Are you wanting me to make you an offer today, or do you want to talk to an attorney? Make an offer. All right. There's property damage. So this would be a first degree. This was a summons. You did not get arrested at the time? No. I was summoned. I was ticketed for careless driving involving an accident. Insurance companies have already settled. Upon arrival, I made contact with both drivers. This was December 22nd. 
Both drivers advised they were okay. As I was speaking with the driver found to be at fault, I noticed there was alcohol. As this driver later identified as the defendant, continued to state what happened. He no longer smelled like alcohol, but had a sweet smell. The defendant's windshield was cracked, and I contacted EMS. The defendant stated he didn't strike the windshield and appeared unconcerned, but his eyes were glassy and watery. Yes, Your Honor. I also was informed that I have type 2 diabetes, and they said that was... Okay, that was the sweet smell. Okay, this officer has concerns that maybe it was something other than alcohol. That would be the hydrocodone, the morphine, and the Xanax. And the diabetes. And the diabetes. They've now since changed me off the Xanax and put me on Loprazazine. Well, I think you should say not guilty if um, this wasn't your fault. You were taking your medication the way it was prescribed and doing what you were supposed to do. Um, but chances are that medication said on it, do not consume alcohol. Yes, ma'am. So if you did consume alcohol while you're taking the medication, then this is a good charge. But um, I don't know. Did you take a breath test? No. You refused? No. They drew blood? They drew blood without my knowledge. Okay. So I think I received the blood results, and the blood results... Your sugar was off the chart. Yes, I think you should say not guilty. <laughs> and, <laughs> and let's look at all this medical stuff. Although your blood alcohol le level was off the charts too. I had two shots of Jack that day. Well, like within five minutes before the test then, because you're, you were a .234. And .08 is the legal limit. So you're like three times, well, three times over the legal limit. So, um, if you want to plead today, I could sentence you on a first offense DUI. It would be a first degree misdemeanor, and it'd be a 12 months probation, no early term, a thousand dollar fine. Uh, DUI school alcohol evaluation and drug evaluation and any treatment recommended, um, et cetera, et cetera. So do you want to plead today or do you want to wait and talk to an attorney? Uh, question, uh, question on that is I also drive a truck and I'm gone three to four weeks out of the month. Well, you have a class A? Yes, I do. You probably won't be able to drive that truck. So you want to say not guilty and talk to an attorney? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, he's going to say not guilty, and you're going to get your own attorney then? Yes. All right. Have a seat. We'll get to your paperwork. Uh, Joseph Perez to the microphone. All right. Mr. Perez, you're charged with disorderly conduct, resisting without violence, and an assault. Well, you were in a very bad mood that day. I was on break, Your Honor. You were on break? Yes. From what? From my job. At approximately 1.50 a.m., where do you work? At Domino's, uh, the distribution center. Okay. At 1.50 a.m., I was in a marked patrol vehicle in the parking lot of the Kangaroo. Um, Mr. Perez approached my vehicle. He appeared to be under the influence. Uh, his eyes were bloodshot, his speech was slurred, and he was drooling. Um, subject began to tell me the clerk in the gas station would not sell him beer and wanted me to go inside and make the clerk sell him beer. I explained that the clerk did not have to sell him anything. At this time, he began yelling, cursing, using slurs, 
I stepped out of my vehicle, asked him to calm down. He got in my face and began cursing at me. I then told the subject to back up and calm down. He refused. So I placed it, I, I placed him under arrest. Um, he began to resist and fight against my commands. Wow, you sure created an ugly situation here. Yeah, that was my fault. Um... Okay, anything you say, Cannon, will be used against you, and I'm not through with everything yet. All right, this is really ugly language that I don't even choose to read out loud. Okay, then you started screaming at the clerk, calling the clerk names. Okay, but I'm not sure this is an assault. To be an assault, it has to be imminent, and at that point, you were arrested, so whatever threats you made to the clerk, you couldn't carry out at that moment. So, you may want to say not guilty and talk to an attorney because you may have a defense on one of the counts. Yes, because uh, I can't okay. have the assault on my record for my job. So All I right, need to get this that is Mr. Uh, Perez, and the assault is the one that I'm not sure is a good charge. The other ones look perfectly good. Um, this is Mr. Perez is entering a not guilty plea. I'm not appointing an attorney at this time. We'll give you your new court date. We'll see if the state is going to go forward with the assault when I see you next time. Okay. All right, a not guilty. All right, um, do we have the next person? Uh, Miss Annie, did she not speak English? All right, come on up. What's your name? All right, you are charged with driving while license suspended. At one point, your license was suspended for not paying a ticket out of Orange County. You got this charge on June the 10th? I believe so. All right, you fixed your insurance that very day, and you paid the ticket that very day. Next day, I did. Mm -hmm. And you have no priors. If you enter a no contest plea, I'll change this from a criminal driving while license suspended to a civil and give you six months to pay $210. All right, Miss Angie, got it? Okay, her name is Alita Panero. It's on page 10. Page 10. All right, thank you. Um, we don't have to print her because we changed it to a civil. Christopher Polizzi. All right, Mr. Polizzi, you are charged with a theft charge. Have you ever had a criminal charge before in your life? Um, yes. Okay. You're not eligible for a special program, but let's see what we've got here. Okay, if you enter a no contest plea, I would find you guilty. I'd put you on six months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you pay a $200 fine, as soon as you go to the shoplifting class, and as soon as you make restitution and no return to Walmart. Um, may I say something? Mm -hmm. um, my first time arrested, <clears throat> it was put, uh, I was, went through the teen, port, uh, the teen court program through Bartow, uh -huh. and it was taken off my record. I was wondering if there was any program I could do to get it taken off of my record. Um, there's, um, there is such a thing as sealing your record for 10 years, and then it could come off if this qualifies. I'm not sure it qualifies. What would I have to do for that? You'd have to look up how to seal and expunge records. Okay. So do you want to say not guilty now and talk to an attorney first? Um, yes. All right. Are you able to afford a private attorney? No. I'll appoint the public defender, but that's another $250 for the public defender's office. All right. All right. He's maintaining his not guilty plea. We'll appoint the public defender.